So you're thinking of moving to Monk's Corner, South Carolina. But before you do, you want to know the good and the bad about this town and anything else that you might need to consider first. If this is you, you've come to the right place because today we're talking about the pros and cons of Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Let's go. I'm Deneen Gary, a realtor in Charleston, South Carolina and the surrounding areas, and I love helping people just like you find home. Whether you're buying, selling, or simply exploring the market, I'm here with honest advice and local insights. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on the latest happenings in the low country. Today, we're diving into a really important topic, the pros and cons of living in Monk's Corner. Whether you're considering moving here or you're just curious about what it's like, this video will give you a well-rounded look at the best parts and the challenges of living in this charming town. As someone who works and lives in Monk's Corner, I have first-hand experience with the good and the not so good. So stick around because you'll wanna hear it all before making any big decisions. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, you're gonna to wanna to tune in to the end when I give you a bonus pro to Monk's Corner. Now let's get started. Let's start with one of the biggest pros of living in Monk's Corner, and that's affordability. Compared to Charleston, Mount Pleasant, or Somerville, Monk's Corner is much more affordable when it comes to housing. Whether you're looking to buy or rent, you're going to find that your dollar stretches a lot further here. As of 2024, the median home price in Monk's Corner is around $300,000, which is a great deal when you consider that homes closer to Charleston can easily start at $500,000 or more. If you're a first-time home buyer or a family looking for more space, this affordability is a huge win. Also, we have new construction communities popping up all the time. To find out why you might want to consider buying new construction instead of a pre-owned home, make sure you check out this video I did on the reasons to consider buying new construction. On the flip side, one of the cons of living in Monk's Corner is the commute to Charleston. If you work downtown on the peninsula or in some of the more popular areas like Mount Pleasant or West Ashley, you're looking at a 30 to 45 minute drive each way. And that's without factoring in traffic, which can add even more time during peak hours. Now there are several main routes in and out of Monk's Corner for your morning commute, so you're not fighting with the entire town on your way into the office in the morning. For some people, this commute is worth the more affordable cost of living. But if you don't love being in the car for long stretches, this is something you'll wanna keep in mind. But if you grab a cup of coffee at one of the local coffee shops, that might help to make your longer commute just a little more bearable. Another big pro is the small town feel you get in Monk's Corner. It's a tight knit community where people know each other and there's a slower pace of life compared to the hustle and bustle of Charleston. At the same time, Monk's Corner is growing and we're seeing more and more amenities pop up like new grocery stores, restaurants, and even retail options. Five years ago, that definitely wasn't a statement that I would have made. You get the best of both worlds, that quiet, small town charm without feeling like you're too far away from modern conveniences. Now on the flip side, with that small town feel comes a con, which is fewer entertainment options compared to Charleston. If you're someone who enjoys fine dining, museums, concerts, or shopping at high-end stores, you'll probably find yourself driving to Charleston or Somerville for those activities. Although, every couple of months, Ophelia's Wine and Bites does offer a reservations only event with a higher end menu than you can find in any other restaurant in Monk's Corner. There are also a couple of places in town that offer theme nights, like trivia nights, murder mystery nights, and karaoke throughout the week, in addition to having live music. Most of these places can be found on Main Street. Monk's Corner does have local restaurants, parks, and outdoor activities like boating on Lake Moultrie or visiting Cypress Gardens. But if you crave more variety in your entertainment, it might feel a little bit limited here. On the positive side, Monk's Corner is a nature lover's paradise. You've got Lake Moultrie right at your doorstep where you can enjoy boating, fishing, and hiking on the Palmetto Trail. You're also close to Cypress Gardens and Old Santee Canal Park, which are perfect for exploring on the weekends. If you love the outdoors, Monk's Corner offers plenty of opportunities to get outside and enjoy the beauty of the low country. 
Spring is my favorite time of year and with spring comes strawberries. I love that there are several local farms that offer the most amazing berries in addition to other seasonal fruits and vegetables which you can find either at the farm or at the Monk's Corner Farmer's Market. On a side note, I am a little crazy about keeping my house stocked with fresh berries when they're in season and I may have been found in the strawberry patch at my favorite farm, very pregnant with both of my babies. I just wanted to make sure we had a good supply for when we brought those babies home from the hospital. One con that might be a deal breaker for some people is the lack of public transportation. If you don't drive or prefer to use public transit, Monk's Corner doesn't have many options. Most people rely on their own vehicles to get around, and while that's common in smaller towns, it can be a hassle if you're used to a more walkable or transit-friendly town. We are part of the Tri-County Link bus route, but it's not as extensive as you would have with a lot of stops like you would find when you get closer to Charleston. So if you're moving here, just know that having a car is pretty much essential unless you're comfortable with taking an Uber or a Lyft everywhere. Another pro that really stands out is the strong community atmosphere. Monk's Corner hosts several events throughout the year like the 4th of July Festival and the Christmas Parade which really bring people together. The last few years they've made a whole weekend of events around the Christmas Parade. First they've moved the parade to a nighttime parade which I feel gives it a little more of that Christmas magic. They also have the tree lighting the night before where they have local school choruses come out to sing. There are also farmers markets and plenty of community driven activities. They're adding more and more local events to the calendar to give the community more opportunities just to get out and mingle more. If you're looking for a place where people know your name and there's a real sense of belonging, Monk's Corner has that small town spirit that's really hard to find elsewhere. Lastly, one con to consider is the slower pace of development, but I'm not meaning housing. That's really taken off. While Monk's Corner is growing, it's not growing as fast as some other areas like Somerville or Mount Pleasant. That means it might take a little longer for certain amenities or services to reach the area. So if you're used to having everything at your fingertips in a bigger city, you might find Monk's Corner's slower growth a little bit frustrating. Personally, as long as I have a good grocery store within a few minutes of my house so that when I'm in the middle of baking up a masterpiece, if I run out of flour and sugar, I can zip to the store and pick up what I need without having to start all over again. Okay, time for that bonus pro. In 2021, it was announced that Berkeley County was going to build a mega boat landing in Monk's Corner. It will be 14 acres right on the shores of Lake Moultrie. There will be six boat ramps, an event pavilion, and a walking trail, as well as plenty of parking. While they are currently running a little behind schedule due to some funding issues, they were able to secure some additional funding earlier this year and construction is finally underway. If all goes well, we hope to have our new boat landing complete and ready for some bass tournaments by summer of 2025. So there you have it, just a few of the pros and cons of living in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Like any town, it has its benefits and challenges, but overall, it really is a wonderful place to live if you're looking for affordability, a strong sense of community, and access to nature. If you're thinking about moving to Monk's Corner or just want more information, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you find your dream home here. My name is Deneen Gary, the Southern Living Yankee, and a realtor in Charleston, South Carolina and the surrounding areas, and I love helping people just like you find home. Whether you're buying, selling, or simply exploring the market, I'm here with honest advice and local insights. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos about life in Charleston and the rest of the Lowcountry. Thank you again for joining me. I'm Deneen Gary. So long for today.